Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how I built my LED panels. And this is going to be the first part of the video just about the parts and tools that we're going to use to build this panel. So of course we got these um, aluminum sheets. They're baker sheets. I bought these on eBay. You can buy them used, get them cheaper, but then you gotta clean them and maybe polish them up because they're usually just brown and dirty, so I just pay 10 bucks each for a new one. I might polish them one of these days, but I'm a little bit lazy right now for that. Well, after that, we need some LEDs. These are blue spectrums and these are full spectrums right here. Um, these are three watts, three 0.2 to 3.6 volts each <clears throat> and on this big panel I'm gonna have 70 full spectrums I'm gonna put 16 on these blue spectrums so then after to run these we need drivers I'm gonna need three of these drivers for this big panel and this one is a 600 milliamp it puts out five, uh, 54 to 105 volts. So that means you can run 18 to 30 LEDs in series. So you gotta have at least 18, but if you put 31 or 32 on a circuit, they will flash. It will overload and it will just flash and never come on. <clears throat> to mount them, either you can bolt them but then you need a plastic washers. I'm too lazy to drill all these holes and bolt them down. So I'll just use a, let's just use JB Quick. Put some JB Quick on it and then I use this thermal grease right here. Put a little bit of thermal grease on it. And as you can see on the solder panel, JB Quick it on and you see the heat sink just come out. And this panel's been running for a while without any issues. <clears throat> and of course, the big panel uses two cooling fans. These are 42 CFMs. So I'll get the cooling fans. This one is just one. It's a smaller panel with, with two drivers. And you don't really have to buy them new. Maybe you can find them used an old computer or something like that like these cables right here I got these out of a, an old computer power supply you can get them out of there and right here this is a power supply 12 volt power supply it can run up to like three or four fans I thought I got those laying around everywhere so I didn't have to buy it and of course we're gonna need wires you're going to need the wire and do wire them up in series. I'll just use light wire for that 18 gauge. I think it is. That's what I used. Yeah, just 18 gauge wire for that. So I just jump them in series positive, negative, positive, negative. I'll show that in the next video. And then I have the red wire for positive. And I use the black wire for negative. That's the other one you're going to need when you hook up to your drivers. Right there. And it doesn't get hot enough to melt the wires underneath when you sandwich it like that. These wires can handle 105 degrees Celsius and LEDs don't run hotter than 140 Fahrenheit, so that's absolutely no problem to run it. And then you need solder, a lot of solder, because you got to do some soldering. Depending how many you have, you got to do a lot of soldering. That takes up almost most of the time. It's just the soldering. And let's see. Let's go to the tools. I need a hole saw. It's a four and a half inch or 120 millimeter hole saw. You need a 
it so you can make a nice cut for the fan. These are 120 millimeter fans, by the way. Soldering iron, most important tool right now is your soldering iron. It's got a handle to do a lot of soldering. You need some drills, and you need a, a drill. So you gotta do some drilling. <clears throat> As you can see, when you sandwich them, I just use leftover bolts I have in a bin. But I'm out of big panel, I use quarter inch bolts. Three inches long and then you just need a couple of washers and a couple of nuts and just put it together and you need wire strippers because you got to strip all these wires so the more LEDs you have the more lights you're gonna the more wire you have to strip I did a couple of changes on this this panel. This is my first one. I'll just show you as an example right here. But yeah, that's it. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to line them all up, set them up, how to solder them all in series, and hook up the power to your 110 or 220, whatever. It depends where you live, what you have. So this should work actually all the way around the world as you can see it's an 85 to 277 volts 50 60 hertz a 0.8 amp max but these are used to go in series well that should do it so i hope you guys liked the first part of this video and i'm gonna set this stuff up and start make it ready for the next video I'm going to show you how I'm going to JP Quick them on and then solder them and wire everything up. And it's going to take about six to eight hours to build one of these big panels and about a hundred dollars to build it all. Well, I hope you guys like the videos and share it, subscribe, and We'll see you in part two pretty soon. Thank you for watching.